All right, hey gang, Nate Bear here, lead technical tactician for Monument Traders Alliance and trade of the day. And in today's video update, I want to go over the indexes, why I think there may be a shift happening uh, from buy the dip to sell the rip. And then I've got a fresh trade set up for you. I also want to cover um, the levels that we need to be watching where if they break, then we could be shifting back to a buy the dip again. Okay, so let's just dive right in. Now, normally we start off with the SPX. And I want to cover all the indexes, but uh, instead today I want to start with the QQQ and sort of take a little bit of a deeper dive into that index because it's been the one that has been sort of leading the way lower over the last couple of weeks as we have been, well, really over the last month as we've been sort of pulling back. Okay, so what I want you to notice are a couple of different things. Number one, this yellow line, that's the 55 exponential moving average, and it's a key moving average. Um, when a stock is bullish, when an index is bullish, it tends to um, more often than not hold pullbacks to the 55 EMA. And when you get a shift where something happens and you start to suddenly close below that 55 EMA on you know one day, two in, two in a row, three days a week, then you really have a shift from bullish to bearish. So, so far, and I want to look at some key stocks here too, but so far the QQQ has come in it didn't quite test that 55 EMA, but it got very close uh, and it held. Yesterday we had a nice rebound. Um, the rebound yesterday, however, was not on, it wasn't on great volume, was it? So it's not like we had a, a volume candle where we had a big volume bar down here, uh, you know, that would sort of confirm that candle. So to me, what we did yesterday was we sort of rallied up into resistance. And I'm going to zoom in on this chart a little bit. Um, we spent a lot of time covering this in Daily Profits Live yesterday, but in order for things to shift, in order for things to break out of this down channel, right, and start to, to shift, we have to get a break above, we have to get a close above, and then we have to hold on a retest, okay? Within that, we have a couple of different things. This big blue line here is the main point of control for all of this price action down here, right? That's where the most volume has traded. And above that, what you can see here is this bearish symmetry zone. I went through and I measured every single one of these rallies within this down channel and I compared them or I projected them from this low right here. And if the NASDAQ is going to get anything going, it's got to get through this big block of bearish symmetry. So essentially to simplify that, the, the Qs need to get above and close above 372, right? And then they need to hold a pullback to this level before continuing higher. And if we can do that, then we will shift from higher, uh, I'm sorry, from this lower series of lower highs, right? To then shifting to a low, a new high, and then a higher low, a higher high. And that's how we start to reverse this trend. So that's what the cues need to do. If we take a look again at the daily chart, I want you to see, I want you to notice how the QQQ, all right, if my chart will pull up, that would be great. All right. Well, looks like we dropped the internet there for a second, but it looks like we are, are back. <laughs> okay. So the cues need to break above this bearish symmetry zone. And I want to take a look back at that daily chart and look at the 55 EMA here, how the cues have come into that and held it. And then let's take a look at some of these other key names. I'm sorry, Apple falling well below that 55 EMA. It's starting to curl, so it needs to get back above it. Names like Microsoft, right? Well below the 55. But check out how NVIDIA acted yesterday, right? A bounce into the 55 and then a big move higher. So keeping in mind that the indexes have fallen to the 55 EMA, there's one stock that I think is really holding up very, very well here, and that's Google. Now, Google had solid earnings here. And note, they're not even close to the 55 EMA. They're holding the 8 EMA, so very, very, very strong. And you might say, well, Nate, there's no squeeze here. There's no red dots, right? Well, if we zoom in just a little bit on Google, we can see that there is a squeeze on the 195-minute chart with a momentum shift. So for me in Google, I would love to buy on a pullback right here to this point of control, which is about $129.40 or so. So a pullback 
to the POC right here. And then I would look for Google to extend on up to say 135 or 136. Now in order to play that, I'll come out here to the September monthly options. And I'll probably pick up the $130 calls, the in the money calls. Um, or if, if Google were to pull back to that level, they would be you know, basically at the money calls. But I would come out here and pick up these $130 calls right here for the September um, options expiration, the monthly uh, September monthly options expiration, 31 days out. All right. So that's what I've got. I hope it helps. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.